Spaces was a virtual desktop feature of Mac OS X, introduced in Mac OS X 10.5 Leopard. It was announced by Steve Jobs during the opening keynote at the Worldwide Developers Conference on August 7, 2006. As of Mac OS X 10.7 Lion, it has been incorporated into Mission Control. Topic Overview Spaces enables users to create multiple virtual desktops suited to the unique needs or work habits of the user. A user could, for example, create and assign a space to office work, enabling him or her to leave a work-related application such as a word processor or a spreadsheet running full screen and then switch to a different space designated for browsing the internet or navigating file structure in Finder windows. Up to 16 spaces can be created, and applications can be bound to specific spaces. There are various ways to navigate between spaces, including user configured, function key combinations, hot corners via expose, or by dragging windows and applications in the direction of the desired space to the corresponding edge of the screen and holding for a moment until the space switches. The dashboard functions as a separate space, on the left of the other spaces by default. Topic use in Mac OS by 10.5 Leopard System Preferences A checkbox labeled Enable Spaces must first be checked in the Expose and Spaces Preferences under the Spaces tab. Then, as many as 16 spaces can be created by adding rows or columns. Application assignments may be added and bound to specific spaces listed, by their corresponding numbers, in the right-hand column. When an assigned application is launched, it will open on the designated space and remain in that location unless it is moved manually to another space. There are a few settings for activating and switching between spaces. A checkbox at the bottom of the panel allows switching spaces automatically when switching between applications bound to spaces. This is achieved either by clicking on application icons in the dock, or by pressing Command plus Tab, and spaces will jump directly to the space that the chosen application has been assigned to. A limitation of spaces lies in the fact that some applications featuring tool palettes and or multiple open document windows such as Adobe Creative Suite or Microsoft Office applications cannot be consistently bound to a specific numbered space. In such cases, the switching function responds to the most recently active document, regardless of which space it has been opened upon, so it is usually more efficient to avoid assigning such applications to a specific space and to run them unassigned, opening documents in the desired space. Function key combinations can also be configured to activate the full screen spaces grid view, switch between spaces directionally, or switch directly to a specific space by number. A function allows applications or windows to be moved into or through adjacent spaces by dragging and holding the window or document at the edge of the screen. During a transition to a new space, a small, translucent image representing the space's grid configuration will be shown in the center of the screen for a few seconds, with arrows representing the movement, and the active space highlighted. When viewing the full screen grid, spaces themselves may be rearranged by dragging and dropping requires clicking on the blue desktop area, instead of on a window within it. This does not change the application assignments, but is equivalent to manually moving a window or document to a new space. The application will retain its assignment and when launched at a later date, will run on the originally assigned space. 
Spaces also works effectively with Exposé, another Mac OS X feature, where you can designate a hot corner to activate the full screen feature of spaces, showing a zoomed out grid of scaled down thumbnails for each space. Also, when the spaces grid has been activated, Exposé may be additionally deployed to reveal the active windows or documents on each space. Topic. Comparison Although Spaces was a new feature for Mac OS 10.5, virtual desktops existed for quite some time on other platforms, such as Linux, Solaris, X and BIOS. Virtual desktops also existed for Windows and for the Mac OS via third-party software, and it has been a standard feature on Linux desktops for a number of years. The first platform to implement multiple desktop display as a hardware feature was the Amiga 1000, released in 1985. Virtual desktops were finally added to the Windows platform with Windows 10 in 2015. 